today. What is up y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. Out here at Linville Land Harbor. This golf course is amazing. It's a mountain course in the mountains in North Carolina. The back nine might be the most undulated nine holes of golf that I've ever played. That'll be actually the next video. This is gonna be part one in the front nine. Then we'll have part two, which is the back nine. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Take you along here for the front nine. First hole here at Linville Land Harbor is a par five, 467 yards. Yes, 467. It's gonna be a lot of dog legs, a lot of shorter holes with it being a mountain course, but positioning is very key. Big dog leg to the left, wanna hug that left corner. Unfortunately, that trundled through the fairway right there. I should have aimed a little more left. Hit it well, we'll go find it, hit it again. Hit that four iron right there very well. However, I was trying to hit a big sweep and draw. Ended up running through the fairway. We're not in bad shape, 207 yards left. Pin is fairly accessible. Gonna need to play a big banana cut. Probably gonna be going with a six iron. but no worries we're pumped for eagle here on the first so there was hazard all short of this green didn't really realize that and uh ended up right here great shape roughly 25 30 feet putting back up the hill for eagle Are you kidding me? Tap this in for the birdie. We'll take a pin slammer there on the first. Moves us to one under. I thought that was dropping for the Cameron dropping eagle. However, we're gonna count it as a birdie for today's round. We're on to number two, par four, 340 yards. Like I said, this is a mountain course. A lot of big dog legs. Probably gonna play something out there about 200 yards to the corner and then wedge it up close. That'll work right there. Should be in position A. Like I said, position A right here, 114 yards. There's also a little creek that I might have flirted with a little bit. We're about eh, 10, 12 paces away from that creek. So perfect shape right here. Back up the hill, 114 yards, smooth sand wedge. Slides a little farther up here in the old mountains. And this is the creek that I was referring to. Kind of cool, but don't want to be in it. I just missed this big slope right here. Tough to see on camera, but it is a massive slope. Maybe you can tell a little bit there. Flew it just long, right back there, roughly 35 feet. We are flirting early with going low. That is a par here on two. Good roll right there. One under through two. We're on to number three. Par three, 184 yards. Look at this par three. This course is amazing. This is the sweetest little mountain course. And like I said, the back nine, which will be in the next video upload, is even crazier than this front nine. We're going with an eight iron here. Let's knock it close. Too bad right there, a little short, but putting back up the hill. I landed right there, spun back a little bit, already fixed the divot, putting back up the hill, roughly 35 feet. Let's roll the rock. <laughs> we are flirting down. 
that is on the edge. I've got to show you how close this is. So yes, that is where it ended up. Are you kidding me? Tap it in for the par. One under through three holes, hitting some great putts, giving ourselves some opportunities. Right here, number four, par five, 453 yards. Straight away with a good tee ball right here, could have a mid iron into this green. Wanted to show you all these evergreen trees. I think that's what these are called. Mountain pines, evergreens, somewhere in there. These trees are awesome. They are very tall and look cool. To you how I let it fly. <laughs> Dude, that's incredible. Hit that one well right there. That is what we're looking for when we tee it high and let it fly. Great shape right there. 127 yards back up the hill, probably playing uphill eight yards. So I've got a gap wedge here. Gonna hit this pretty full, but the ball does fly a long ways here. Now's the time if we want to take it low. Need to get this up and down for Eagle. Let's knock it close. <laughs> that might have hopped close. That's what we're looking for. Alright, so mine landed right in there. Unfortunately, it took a huge hop back in here. This is not exactly where you want to be. There it is. Let's see if we can't get it up and down. This slope right here is no joke. That was a slow putt and a long one. That was a monstrous two putt right there. Would have loved to made birdie there from the position we were in the fairway, but the ball is flying very long. Goes a long ways here at this high elevation. And to back pin locations, I need to be more careful. So hopefully we can do that here on number five. Par four, 379 yards. It's stinger time. One hundred and twenty six yards back up the hill. Great shape right here. Left side of the fairway. I'm going to hit a smooth little gap wedge. Ball's flying a long ways uphill a few yards, but I'm not going to even account for that since pretty much every time we've been a little long, except for the par three back there. That is the wedge shot we were looking for right there. Big slope left to right on that green, and we used it. Landed there on the left edge of the green, trundled down. Can't really see the surface of the green, but I could see the top of the ball trundling towards the hole, so hopefully it's up there close. All right, so there's where it landed. Spun all the way back down here to the front edge. Roughly 15 feet, putting back up the hill. Well, I didn't leave it short. There we go. Thanks, sir. Par here on five. No harm there. Still one under through five holes. We're on to number six. Par four, 278 yards. Yes, 278. Par four, blind tee shot right here. So I'm going to hit a stinger aiming at that roof that you can kind of see off in the distance, hopefully with a little fade. a big cut right there and uh, might have pushed that a little bit hit that tree all right here's where we are just left of the fence and this is what we're faced with 151 yards middle pin not in too bad a shape
So on those stingers that end up kind of squirting spinny high to the right, those I get a little too steep and I actually don't cover the ball. So I don't rotate my shoulders enough. Open club face right there causes that high spinny right miss. Then hit the tree. Thankfully it bounced down and we were okay. And this is what we're faced with right here. Really not too bad a shape, but this is a huge little slope right here. So I am probably gonna chip it. Would be a very difficult putt because I need to land it up on top of that knob and let it trundle on down. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thought we had the chip in right there. Love to chip the ball like that right there. Thought we had a chip in here on the channel today. However, tap in par. On to number seven, par three, 143 yards, but plays downhill quite a bit. So probably playing closer to that 130 number. Gonna hit a smooth little gap wedge. Be the right club today. Shot, Zach. Should be about pin high right there, maybe about 20 feet just right. All right, he pretty much stayed right where it landed right there, hop forward just a little bit. Looking at about 20 feet, probably pretty straight here. That is such a weird little putt right there. At first I thought it was breaking one direction, then I thought it was breaking the other, and then it stayed pretty straight. Good putt right there. Leaves us at one under par. We're on to number eight, par four. Big sweeping dog leg to the left. Almost a 90 degree turn here. So we're gonna hit a stinger. Hopefully better than the one back on six. 350 yard, par four. I didn't really draw much, but it should be just fine. Hit that one through the fairway right there. It has started to rain. 137 yards back up the hill. I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. Let's knock it close, see if we can't get another pin slammer. And I think that's what we wanted right there. Let's go. Brought the camera back into the tree so it didn't get too wet down there. Hit that one well, roughly 25 feet long. I know, surprise, surprise. Putting back down the hill, see if we can't roll the rock here. In great shape to finish under par here on the front nine and heading into the back nine. Hit some good shots, distance controlled, not so great. However, hopefully we'll get that tuned in for the back nine. One final hole here on part one, number nine, par four, 370. Pretty straight away, but kind of bends to the right just a little bit. Should be good right there, trundling right on down the fairway. Trying to get this round in. That is the stinger that we were looking for right there. 112 yards left, back up the hill. I'm gonna hit a sand wedge here. Let's knock it close, see if we can end with a birdie here on nine. I had a little bit of sauce on it right there. Should be middle of the green. Trying to get this round in. Roughly 30 feet, putting back up the hill. Had a lot of sauce on that. See if we can't roll this one in. At least snuggle one up there nice and close to end here on nine. Par here on nine. 
Hope you all enjoy coming along. Finish at one under par here on the front nine at Linville Land Harbor. This course was so much fun. Heading into the back nine and the back nine is epic. It's gonna be part two in a separate upload. So stay tuned for that. If y'all enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe as well and ring that bell, turn on them notifications. That way you don't miss any future content. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.